Lego SpongeBob SquarePants is a theme that ran from 2006 to 2012 based on a childhood show for me. Even though I never had these sets when I was younger, I love the show and have nostalgia for it. And in this video, I'm going to be ranking every Lego SpongeBob SquarePants set. Number 14 is Build-A-Bob. This is last because it's a type of set I have no interest in, being a giant buildable character of SpongeBob. It has an alternate mouth and movable eyes to change the expression, and a feature to launch jellyfish from its mouth. It also has a bit of an interior showing it being controlled by Plankton with a little figure of him. Number 13 is the Flying Dutchman. It comes with three minifigures, cool pirate variants of Spongebob and Patrick, and the Flying Dutchman, which has a face that looks a bit weird on a regular head. This set is this low because it's just disappointing. The idea of a Flying Dutchman set is great, but the execution here is not. The ship is just so small and a bit juniorized. I get that this theme in general is for younger kids, but a regular sized Flying Dutchman ship could have been so cool, and this is not it. The small island is a fine side build though, with a dock and hidden treasure chest, and it comes with a cannon. Number 12 is Heroic Heroes of the Deep. It comes with two regular figures, superhero variants of Spongebob and Patrick, and Plankton with a robot suit. The build is a boatmobile with flick fire missiles, and this is a fun vehicle, but I don't like how it doesn't really have seats. It's just kind of flat on top. There's nothing too wrong with this though, it's just a fun little set for the theme. Number 11 is Glove World. It comes with four minifigures, Spongebob, a messy variant of Patrick, Sandy, and the ice cream vendor. It's nice to get Glove World as a set since it is a notable location, but this is a smaller scale version of it and it works okay in this size with the build for the entrance and ice cream stand, and a fun ferris wheel ride that can spin around. Number 10 is the Bikini Bottom Express. It comes with three minifigures, Spongebob, Patrick, and the bus driver. This is another iconic thing from the show and is fitting for a set. The color is a little off as it's more red in the show, but it's still really recognizable with its submarine look. The interior is pretty small though with only three seats, and it comes with a bus stop and a functional ticket booth for side builds. Number 9 is Krusty Krab Adventures. It comes with three minifigures, Spongebob, Patrick, and Mr. Krabs. This set is just a downgrade to the original Krusty Krab set with this being more of a facade with really no interior including mainly just a safe and table inside. It does come with the paddy wagon that was in the movie which is a nice inclusion, but besides that this set is such a letdown. Number 8 is Rocket Ride. It comes with three minifigures, astronaut variants of Spongebob and Patrick, and Sandy. This is based on a pretty memorable episode and makes for a more unique set for the theme with the spaceship build. The spaceship is a decent build with an okay interior that has some controls, equipment, and stuff like that. For side builds, it comes with a loading platform with a neat lifting feature, a moon buggy with a tank holding jellyfish, and a small terrain build with plants and more jellyfish. This is a pretty nice set that makes for some of the more fun builds in the theme. Number 7 is the Chum Bucket. It comes with one regular figure with Spongebob, and some figure-like builds like Plankton with a Burger Walker, Robot Spongebob, and another robot. The Chum Bucket is yet another very recognizable location, and the build for it is done pretty well with the fist holding the bucket, and the interior having nice details like a lab with Karen up top, and a spinning chamber at the bottom. It also comes with a small tank for Plankton and a catapult. Number 6 is Spongebob's Emergency. It comes with three minifigures, Injured Spongebob, Patrick, and the Doctor. The hospital looks pretty good for the exterior with all those piping details along with the entrance and a parking lot to the side. It's very open in the back though with only two walls, but the interior has a front desk and patient area with a stretcher, IV, and more neat medical details. It also comes with an ambulance with an openable back to put a patient inside. Number 5 is Mrs. Puff's Boating School. It comes with three minifigures, Spongebob, Patrick, and Mrs. Puff. The boating school makes for another cool location for a set with the lighthouse design and fun driving course. The interior is just a small classroom with some seats and a spinning light at the top of the lighthouse part. The driving course just has a small ring to go through with some stuff to crash through like a wall and an anchor. Then it comes with a boat with a nice pullback motor feature to drive through the course. Number 4 is the Krusty Krab. It comes with three minifigures. Spongebob, Squidward which has a face print that looks weird on a regular head but I think it's kind of funny, and Mr. Krabs, also coming with Plankton. This Krusty Krab build is much better than the newer version. This one looks a little more complete with more space inside including a safe, the recipe hidden under a desk, and more seating. This one also actually has the sign outside that the newer one was missing, and has side builds like a dumpster and the cash register area with the grill behind it that has a Krabby Patty launching feature. Number 3 is Adventures in Bikini Bottom. It comes with three minifigures, Spongebob, Patrick, and Squidward, also with a build for Gary the Snail. This is the first of the three Bikini Bottom sets, and the only one to have all of the three main houses. 
It was hard to choose between the three sets, but I put this one last just because it's less refined than the newer sets. The first build is Spongebob's Pineapple. It isn't fully enclosed, but it can open up, and on the inside is his bed with a cool feature to launch Spongebob out, and a basketball hoop for some reason. The second build is Squidward's house, which looks okay, but it basically has no interior, and a feature to knock the eyes down. The third build is Patrick's Rock, which is a lazy build. It's pretty much just two big rock pieces put together, and it's not even the right color. It's also the only representation we have of it in a Lego set, so that's kinda disappointing. It does manage to have somewhat of an okay interior with the TV inside. Then this set does have some neat side builds like a boat with a pullback motor, a jellyfish cart, and two catapults to launch the jellyfish. Number two is Bikini Bottom Undersea Party. It comes with four minifigures, party variants of Spongebob, Patrick, Squidward, and Mrs. Puff, also with Gary. This is the newest of the three Bikini Bottom sets, and this one is a bit different with the party theme, which makes it more unique, but I think I prefer the regular designs of the other sets. The pineapple looks pretty similar to the other two, but I think the interior is not the best, with the bed that has the launching feature but looks worse. This set also includes Squidward's house, and I think it is an improvement to the last one, with this one actually having an interior, with nice details like his paintings and clarinet practice area. This also comes with a lot of party-themed side builds, including a DJ area with speakers, a juice bar, a seesaw, and a merry-go-round. And number one is Good Neighbors at Bikini Bottom. It comes with three minifigures, Spongebob, Patrick, and Squidward with the better-looking headpiece, also with Gary again. Like I said, I wasn't sure how to rank these three sets, but I put this one at number one because I think the builds are the best here, despite only including Spongebob's house. The pineapple build again looks pretty similar to the other two, but the interior is the best, with stuff like the bed that can launch Spongebob, a TV and chair, and more details on the walls like pictures. It also includes side builds like a boat with a catapult in the back, a grill that can launch Krabby Patties, a lounge chair and umbrella for Squidward, and a reef blower. So that was my ranking of every LEGO Spongebob Squarepants set. It doesn't have the best sets, but it's a pretty fun theme and I wouldn't mind if it ever came back in the future. But anyway, that's all I have to say. See you next time. Goodbye.